What is up everyone, my name is Ken, also known as Wiltshire, and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, today I'm going to show you guys how to use any Bluetooth dongle or adapter on SCP DS3. So the very first step for this video is you're going to need to go to the description below this video and download the linked driver package. This package contains all the files that you're going to need in order to follow this tutorial, so make sure you download that. Once we've downloaded the driver package, you need to open it up and navigate to a file folder called SCP Server and go into the bin folder. Once we're in the bin folder, you need to navigate to another file folder called Zodig. Now Zodig is the program that we'll be using today to load the drivers for our Bluetooth dongle so it works with SCP DS3. Now I must warn you that if you overwrite your drivers with Zodig, this will lock your Bluetooth dongle to only work with PlayStation controllers. So you will not be able to connect a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard or anything else to this Bluetooth dongle. You have to have a dedicated Bluetooth dongle for the PlayStation controllers. With that said, I'm going to open up Zodig and run it as administrator. So once we've opened up Zodig, what you want to do is you want to go to the device tab and load a preset device. Now the configuration file that we want to load is called Bluetooth configuration. So we're going to open that up because we're loading a Bluetooth driver to our Bluetooth dongle. And the next step is we need to go to the options tab and list all the devices. This will list all the devices that are connected to your computer via USB. And next we need to click on the drop down menu and locate our Bluetooth dongles device name. Now my Bluetooth dongles device name is Qualcomm Atheros Bluetooth 3.0. Now yours may be different and most likely will be different because of the different brand that you're using. So make sure you know what the device name of your Bluetooth dongle is. So I'm going to select mine and I'm going to replace the driver of my Bluetooth dongle. So now that it's installed the driver successfully, I'm going to go ahead and open up the SCP monitor which is also found in the bin folder, in the SCP server file folder. And this monitor basically shows you if something is connected correctly. Now host address is referred to as the Bluetooth dongle. If you do not have a MAC address or these numbers beside host address, that means the driver failed to install or you need to restart your computer, either one. So just for example purposes, I'm going to plug in my PlayStation 3 controller. Now that I've plugged in my PlayStation 3 controller, I'm going to also remove the USB cord so it pairs itself to my Bluetooth dongle. So you notice how it says reserve, give it a few seconds, and now that the controller has found the Bluetooth dongle, it is now paired to the Bluetooth dongle and it is working. So if you ever want to disconnect a PlayStation controller on SCP DS3, you just hold the L1 and R1 buttons and the PS button for about 3 seconds. And the controller will go back to the reserved state it was in, which means it's now disconnected. So this is how you load any Bluetooth dongle or adapter to work with SCP DS3. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you disliked it, leave a thumbs down. As always, I hope you guys feel that this video was helpful. If you guys found it very, very helpful, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, if it's easy to follow, it's easy to learn. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.